Hello, Wolf Scouts! My name is Sam, and today we are going to be making paper airplanes together. But before we get too far, we need to learn about the four forces of flight. And what is a force? Now, I'm not talking about a Hollywood force like... No, no. In science, it is a push or a pull that makes things move. There are four different forces that act on any plane that flies, no matter how big or how small they are. The four forces of flight are lift, weight, thrust, and drag. All four of these forces act on planes at the exact same time. Weight is like gravity. A plane's not going to go very far if it's being held down to the ground. So it's important to have enough lift to get your plane up in the air. Have you ever put your hand outside a window of a car while it's driving down the road? Have you felt that wind push your hand back? That is drag, air pushing back on your hand as you're going down the road. In order to overcome drag, airplanes need to have enough thrust to keep it going forward. Thrust can be provided by engines or booster rockets if you're on a spaceship. We are going to be making paper airplanes today and looking at how those four forces of flight impact our plane's ability to fly. I will show you two different plane designs, and then I want you to come up with your own creative plane design yourself. Let's see which one can fly the farthest. Our first paper airplane is nice and easy. To make this, all you need is one sheet of paper. Our first fold is going to go down the middle, hot dog. Make sure that all of your folds are nice and crisp. We're going to open this back up and use this center line to help us with our next fold. For your next one, take your top right corner or your top left and fold that corner right to that center edge on the other side as well. Our next folds are going to be similar, but we're going to fold all the way from the top right down to our edge. So this is going to be a bigger piece of paper that's folded right to that center line. It's like a nice big triangle. Here's where it gets a little tricky, but I know you can do it. Turn your paper over and fold up on that center line we created. It's starting to look more like a paper airplane now, but we still need our wings. For that, you're going to take right above the center and fold it down like this. Turn your plane over and fold right there on that same line. My nose isn't the straightest, but I think it'll still do okay. Pop your wings out. And there you go. For our second plane, we're going to go a little bit harder with some more folds. This one's a little bit shorter and more stout, but it will give you lots of thrust with enough push. We are going to fold right down the middle like we did with our first one. And open it right back up. Next, we are going to fold about one third of our paper right down like this. So we have a flap. We're going to fold that way one more time, right down to where we folded it the first time. So in essence, you're taking that first flap and you're folding it in half. We're going to do this one more time and fold that same flap in half again. So we have a nice thick part right at the top of our plane. There we go. Next, we are going to fold by turning over so our flap is on the other side. And fold our wings similarly to how we did last time, right down to that center line. Straighten that out a bit. 
and again. Because we have so much paper with that flap, it's going to be a little hard to fold that over, but I think you'll do a wonderful job. Turn it back and fold those wings up. And I bet you know what to do next. We're going to fold our wings down. And luckily, we have a little line right here that we can fold our wings to. Excellent. So there's our plane, but we can do a little bit more. We're gonna take our back corner here. We're gonna fold it straight up to make a nice point on the back side as well. If you have some double stick tape, you can put that on to hold your wings down, but it's not necessary. A nice diamond shape to fly through the sky. Now that we have our paper airplanes, we can see how those forces of flight will act on them. Weight, or gravity, is going to want to pull our plane straight down. Drag, or wind, is going to push against the front of our plane as it's going through the air. So it's important that we have a nice pointy tip to slice through the air in the room. The thrust for our plane is provided by your hand and your arm as you throw it. And lift is provided by the air lifting up from underneath the wings. So if we did a good job, you should get some really good distance on your plane. Thank you so much for joining us today and keep building and doing science.